Bitcoin is right now creating a new higher low and I need to talk about this because currently we are running in towards massive resistance and is this October going to be the same like last year or are we going to get crashed over just like 2021? I'm going to be talking about that on my video. I'm going to be going over all the important data points. If this bull market is still going to begin anytime soon, it should be starting right now. And I'm going to be discussing all the data points I currently have on today's update video, including the most important charts that patterns right now. And of course, I'm going to be talking about this major higher low we're currently creating here on the 4 early time frame. So without any further ado, don't forget to once again slap that like button back above 1000 likes. It will be highly appreciated. And with that being said, let me jump straight away in towards the content. First of all, it is Saturday. It is a weekend. So we're creating a new CME gap sitting around 62,000 US dollars over the course of this weekend. So we're expecting that over the remaining of this weekend, Bitcoin is going to be hovering around this price and just like we had last weekend bitcoin hovered around the cme futures price and then exactly after the cme futures opened again bitcoin had a massive pressure but for the remaining of the weekend we traded around that level and also if we're going to be looking at the week before that we closed it a little bit above it we came down and then we had the massive pump towards the upside so it is very important to look at the cme gaps and to take them very seriously because like most of the times bitcoin is just going to be trading somewhere around that level so that is what it will be expecting for the remaining of this exact weekend as well right now if we're looking at the four early time frame for bitcoin we are looking to be potentially starting to create right now that that fourth higher low after we of course officially have created a higher high on the four early time frame on the daily time frame whatever you want to be saying it but you can clearly see right now here we create a higher low then another higher low, then another higher low. And now once again, potentially this could be the next higher low. Like I said in my previous videos, because this was a major level of support and we're currently exactly the bouncing from of that level. This level previously ran provided major resistance, like you can see right here. Now it's flipping into support. If we can see the continuation upwards and especially break above the previous high right here. So right now we can just clearly see we're trading in an upward sloping trend with higher highs and higher lows and that would mean that bitcoin is ultimately looking quite bullish right now for this moment of time in the market i mean if we still are going to be breaking below this level and potentially even break below the previous low then it's going to be completely different but for now on it is actually still looking quite okay in my opinion but i want to be pointing out that currently we are running in towards one of the most important levels of resistance i mean the major previous support was this level right here 62,500. this was the level where bitcoin basically found a lot of support on and yes we broke below this level and now actually this level flipped into resistance so i do believe that this is going to be an important level to be approaching if we can break above it we're probably going to be seeing a bullish continuation but if we see that rejection this is just a start of a lower high and this could be the beginning of another push towards the downside and especially if right now bitcoin breaks below the low right here this is most likely another lag towards the downside for bitcoin where we are just confirming another lower high on the market so very interesting to see yesterday we saw the spot bitcoin etf having 25 million US dollar inflow like i said in many videos before usually whenever we see record in or outflows it tends to be marking the top or bottom it looks to be that that is so far once again the case for the bitcoin price action right now here also on the daily time frame we're exactly bouncing from of that middle range i discussed we're exactly bouncing from of the support line i have also mentioned in my videos before and now we're just seeing that push towards the upside again where the major resistance is going to be found around 63,000 US dollars and 64.5k in my opinion those levels were previously ranked very important levels and i do believe that they're still going to be important levels to be breaking above of but just like back in october or in 2023 bitcoin dropped seven percent in the first week and now in October 2024, Bitcoin dumped about 6.5% in the first four days. So it's no different than the last year, actually. And if you're going to be looking at this chart right here, in 2021, we had a major crash in October. Of course, this chart is inverted, guys, for the ones that didn't understand it already. You can see the prices are basically uh, going up once the price goes down here. So it's an inverted chart. It's a little bit of a, a fool. But you can clearly see October is a very strong month for crypto. It's a very strong month for Bitcoin. And just like in 2023, we first saw some negativity in the beginning of the month. And then still, we managed to have a massive rally towards the upside. So something similar could still be happening and i mean the month is still not over and anything can still happen and historically speaking in halving years so in 2020 2024 and 2016 
October was literally the Kickstarter of the massive bull run on Bitcoin. And that is why I still would believe if we're going to be having a com not completely similar, small similarity in the cycle, October is going to be a very great performer in the market. And I always say history doesn't repeat, but it tends to be rhyming. So also with this, the bull market should be starting somewhere right, right now. Of course, I'm not going to say the bull market starts now, but it is going to be starting somewhere in this range because I still believe in the Bitcoin four year cycle. And it doesn't uh, will say that I think that Bitcoin is going to be necessarily going up right now. But no, I believe history rhymes, not repeats. And that is why it should be starting somewhere right here. And if we're also looking at this chart, we are probably right now in that last con consolidation phase before we're going to be having a major major rally towards the upside so really if you're here to catch the most amount of gains this is literally the worst time to be fading the markets right now here so yes i think bitcoin is looking very good here also on-chain data is just proving the point that probably we're going to get an altcoin season since there's a lot of limits buys coming in on altcoins and with the bitcoin dominance right now peaking most likely if we're also still believing in the previous cycle we are right now at a very interesting stage to potentially accumulate altcoins. If you would like me to make a dedicated video about why I think altcoin season is going to be imminent, make sure to let me know in the comment section down below because I'm definitely considering on making that one as well. And yes, guys, if you want to be trading Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrencies, don't forget to go to the highest link description of today's video because if you press on this link right here, you will be eligible for a $30,000 US dollar deposit bonus. But on top of that, you can also claim a free $500 US dollar airdrop position for only signing up an account to Bybit right now using that link description of today's video. So if you're interested, make sure to check it out in the link description below. This is an extremely valuable deposit bonus, which you can claim on many altcoins. So if the market is going to be pumping, you can make even more money than already that free $500 US dollar trade here. So make sure to check it out in the link description of today's video. Further on, I mean, if we're just looking at Bitcoin, we're just still in the midst of consolidation. I mean, if you're zooming out, nothing big has happened yet so far. We're just still in the midst of this major consolidation phase and another breakout is going to be imminent anytime soon here. You can see that we're creating a bull flag pattern. And if you're just looking at the time horizon, we're trading in this pattern already for in about 220 days here. And yes, if you're consolidating so long in such a pattern, another breakout is just going to be imminent. And I believe the breakout is going to be imminent as soon as we do break above this very important resistance, where we clearly not only got rejected from once, but more than four times in a row already. Bitcoin is still consolidating and we're just waiting for the next breakout to take place here. Maybe the breakout is going to take place whenever the uh, weekly MACD is going to cross bullish. I mean, the last time it did cross bullish, we had a major rally towards the upside. So we'll be monitoring this very closely. Also, Bitcoin, it just looks very ready to have the next leg towards the upside, especially on the monthly time frame. And considering the fact that right now the US election is only 31 days out here, and historically speaking, always after the US election, Bitcoin tends to go exponential. And especially the last time in 2017, Bitcoin went super exponential. If you do not believe in all these catalysts, I mean, history has always showed proof that after the Bitcoin halving and after the US election, the market tends to go quite exponential. So I should definitely not fade this this time around here. And yeah, this was it basically for me in today's update video. It's weekend, so make sure to trade with caution. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out. Goodbye.